Hey guys, it's Richie, and this week we're going to take a look at using the System 1 in your live setup and you taking advantage of some different features to get uh, a more evolving and uh, changing sounds out of it for your bass lines. So let's jump into that. <laughs> All right, so you may find that when you're using a system one, either in your tracks or at least, especially when you're playing out live, um, that you're gonna run out of hands to do everything. So what we can do is some tricks that I like to use on bass lines mostly, but you can use them on leads, anything pretty much, even pads, that will keep it kind of evolving and kind of give the system one some life of its own that allows you to um, free yourself up to do other things while you're playing out live. So to start we're going we got just an initial patch here so we're gonna first start by creating a baseline sound. So what I'm gonna do is start with a sawtooth actually I'm sorry a square wave we're gonna put that at 32 and a sawtooth and we're also gonna put that at 32 we'll bring up the sub oscillator bring up the second oscillator and let's see how that sounds. Okay, so that's a little much. We'll bring the cutoff down. Now that sounds good. So one of the first things you're going to want to use if you're playing out live either, I mean if you have a sustain pedal that could be really great. You plug that into the back of the system one or even um, plug it into your MIDI interface and use it with the VST. I'm using the VST right now, but anything I do on here, you'll be able to do on the System 1 hardware as well. So I'm going to use the key hold because I don't have a sustain pedal hooked up. And we've got this going now. So this is very uninteresting. There's not much going on here. Now we can shape it a little bit. But that's not going to do much for when you have the key hold on. But at least as you play it, it'll do things. We'll give the envelope a little bit. So now if you go. So what you're hearing right there is the filter envelope. It opens up a little bit and then comes back down a little bit. And that's what gives it kind of that plucky, pluckier sound. All right. Now what can we do to make this live a little bit more? Like I said, it's a very basic sound. Um, I'm gonna give it a little more tone. And now what we're gonna do is play with the LFO. And that's gonna be give what gives it the life. So first we're gonna turn on tempo sync. So that's sync to the tempo of our track. And I've got a little loop from my TR8 going. Bring this down just a little bit so we can hear the bass. And now you'll see that the rate is 2 to 1. So that means it's 32 bars. Now we're going to give a little bit of LFO to the filter. Now what this adjusts is the middle of the LFO. So the LFO is a sine, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, sine wave. And when you adjust the filter, you're adjusting how far it goes up and then how far it goes down. So as we adjust it, we may want to bring this up if we really liked where we were to be kind of the middle. Or we wanted it to be the lowest where it would go. Okay, so it's starting to breathe a little bit. A lot of little resonance. So that's sounding good. Now what we can do is apply the LFO to the sawtooth oscillator. And that's just by changing mod to LFO. And I'm going to turn everything else down so you can kind of hear what the difference is. So what the LFO is doing, let's turn this off, and it's just doing a little bit of this. And it's just adjusting the pulse width of this sawtooth. And just gives it a little bit of movement. So it's 
bring in our other oscillators. And then if you adjust the amp, that's going to bring it in and out a little bit more. And by adjusting that against the filter, it gives it a little bit more irregularity. It's not exactly doing the same exact things. So you want them a little different. And then one of my favorite things to do is to change it over to a square wave. So you see that it's much more uh, on top of it does it it does it in steps. And then what you can do is actually play with the pitch. And then you can turn on the arpeggiator. Now things are going a little crazy. This is where you start to adjust your envelopes. And we'll change our scatter type. Ableton, or if you have the MX1, you can turn on some side chaining. So I'm going to add a compressor, I'm going to side chain against the TR8, turn on the EQ, bring it all the way down. So you see that's kind of just on the kick. bring this down to quarter notes. Might actually bring it over here. Do multiple notes. Again, it's a lot of experimentation and figuring out what sounds right. So this should give you a place to start, and like I said, it's all about experimentation. Let's put it on mono, that'll help. There we go. Cleaned it up a little bit. And like I said, you can do this on the hardware or the software. It's going to behave the same way. It's what makes it such a versatile piece of, uh, or synth to work on, work with or work on. There we go. So when you mix the LFOs and the uh, arpeggiator and tweak the scatter types, you really end up coming up with some interesting stuff.
And if you turned off the key hold and just put them in, put your notes into here, you're gonna end up with same effect. The arpeggiator still works. And I've got a MIDI controller here. So it works just the same. Um, it's going to behave the same way. The scatters are still going to work the same way. So you see, I, what I did here was I flipped the amp envelope. Right here, it's not doing anything. And you're changing the phase of it this way by going in each direction. So right now, the lower notes are going to be hot, louder. And if I go this way, the higher notes are going to be louder. Kind of like that. So, like I said, when you play around with it, you're going to find different combinations that work best for you and your music, but this this will get you started, and uh, if you have any tips to share or even want to share some of your patches that you've come up with that are great for playing out live with, um, definitely post them in the comments and let me know. Thanks. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos we've got on this channel. And also, if you want to check out my own personal videos, you can go over to youtube.com slash dflash. And make sure you check out my music over at richiemusic.com. R-E-I-C-H-E music.com. Thanks again for checking out this video, and look forward to posting some more for you. Thanks.